The trial of the actors of Nida movement and the free use continued on April 10th and 11th. The court proceeded to examine the evidence. During the proceedings, Judge Yad Hussein said the video materials of the criminal case will be shown in the next days of hearing when technical equipment will be ready. He went on saying that at first he would hear the expert opinion given based on the results from the analysis of the liquid that the bottles contained. But the defense lawyer said it is reasonable to hear the opinion after watching the operation video to which it is directly linked. The judge didn't change his mind regarding the opinion, however, suggested that it may be re-examined if need be. Then the letter sent to the Serious Crimes Investigation Department by the Minister of National Security was read. The letter contained Facebook correspondence, status updates, and text messages written by the accused Novruzov, Guliev, and Azizov. The defense insisted on the exclusion of this letter from the evidence, claiming MNS actions were not sanctioned and therefore the operational search activities cannot be considered legitimate. However, the judge rejected the request. The court also heard the protocols on the review of the Harlem Shake video with participation of the accused, as well as the documents consisting of the event notification sent to the Baku mayor's office and the response. After this, court adjourned until April 15th. Note that seven actors of Nida civic movement were detained in April and May of 2013 and are charged with planning to use Molotov cocktails during a mass protest in Baku on March 10, 2013. Some of the youths are also charged with illegal possession of drugs. Members of the Azad Genji organization Ilkenistan Zade, who is co-accused with Nida actors, was detained on May 17, 2013. He was first charged with hooliganism, then additional with organizing riots and attempting to participate in them. Amnesty International has recognized all of the youth as the prisoners of conscience.